Hello and welcome to Unit 11 in Higher Computing for Everyone. In this unit we are going to be discussing conditional flow statements, which is a topic that applies not only to C, but to many other programming languages as well. In fact, I would argue that you would be hard pressed to write any kind of useful program in any programming language without the use of conditional flow statements. Okay, so let's begin. Up until now, every program that you've written has followed a structure that basically looks like this. You execute the first instruction, then the second, then the third, and so on, all the way to the end of the program. In fact, very briefly, let's just write out a sample program so you can see what I'm referring to here. So every program we've written so far has basically been, maybe you create a variable or two, maybe you have a printf statement, and the point is, every single statement you've written gets executed in a precise order. First, the first instruction, then the second, and so on, all the way through to the end of the program. Thus far, you have had no ability to choose which instructions to execute and when. So now we are going to advance past this understanding. When you write a program, it is very often the case that you will not want to execute every single instruction. For example, you might be designing a shooting game, and you might write out some segment of programming code that is designed to execute only if your character gets shot. Here's an example. So the way this would work is you would basically have some programming statements, and then at some point in your program you're going to have a statement that effectively asks whether or not the character was shot and if the character was shot then you want to execute these instructions. The key point is you only want to execute those instructions if the character was shot. Any time that you have a statement that is designed to specify whether or not a segment or block of programming code should execute that is a conditional flow statement. So in this example this line of code that says if the character was shot then do this that is a conditional flow statement. Now before we proceed let me clearly define exactly what a conditional flow statement is. A conditional flow statement is a mechanism that allows you to branch your program flow in one or more directions based on the result of a certain test. Now this is what we mean when we say a condition. So you might be testing the condition of something, like whether or not a character was shot. And the flow of your program then depends upon that condition, hence the term conditional flow statement. In the next lesson, I will show you the exact mechanism that allows you to do this.